Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And before we get into the video, the game, uh, I want to tell two things. First thing, it's the birthday of none other than Mikhail Tal, the magician of Riga, the pirate of La Latvia, the hypnotist, many many names. And yes, and uh, and in honor of that, I thought why not make a video, and that also a game that he played. And uh, and also. Uh, in honor of his birthday, there's a tournament, the Lindo Sabe, which is held in Latvia, where Tal was born and he was raised. Rest. So, the second thing is, I got some stickers over here so that uh, they have a, like this. This one I didn't uh, cover because, uh, because of my chair, you can't see that. So, these stickers I got uh, because to cover those like whole like things like this one so yeah but let's get into the video so yeah i think we can get into the video so albero is a uh, roman albero Bero is a uh, Mikhail Tal's opponent and Alvero is I think if I'm not wrong five years older than Tal I think like that he was born in 1931 and Tal was born in 1936 so I think like that and uh, Alvero, Alvero is uh, a Spanish grandmaster so without further ado let's get started Alvero with the white pieces opens the game with c4 e5 knight c3 and we have d6 so Kind of a uh, passive defense, I'd say. So, so about that, g3, f5, gain space. A d4. We had e4. Uh, the engine says that uh, that e4 is a slight inaccuracy, uh, and bishop e7 could have been much better. They give the line after e3, knight f6. You the typical engine stuff the typical engine stuff and uh, remember that it's 1961 and uh, there was no engine at that time there was no internet no engine nothing not even a computer uh, so this is the line the engine gives and yeah the typical engine and <laughs> again you see how played e4 and here the engine also plays e4 so the typical engine uh, so Tal played e4, f3, and it looks like uh, that's bad. And uh, but the thing is, uh, your points attack first, so you have to go. Tal plays knight f6, and bishop g2. Again attacking. Now you can't defend it with bishop f5. You can play queen e7, but that uh, keeps your queen an unpleasant uh, place because now you can play something like bishop g5 and. That is gonna be good for white. We had e card f3, knight card f3, and g6. Castles, bishop g7, e4, takes, knight g5. Um, here again, the typical engine, knight h4. And then some black castles, and then probably we'll just take, take, uh, and then play with the fade. Queen of Fed and Bishop. So yeah, again, okay, the typical engine stuff. So there. Yeah, F4, Knight G5, and castles. Knight uh, G takes E4. Knight takes E4. Rook F8, to cut F8. Queen cut F8, and we had Knight cut E4. We had Knight to C6, and Bishop to E3. We have bishop to f5, attacking it once, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of a weak point because one attack, one guard. We had rook to e8 now, now there's two attacks and only one guard, so you'll have to move it or defend it. And uh, if queen d3, there's a pain, annoying, so you don't want to run into that. <coughs> so here, Albero plays in a g5. And uh, here Tal goes for his 
Not typical, but aggressive tactics. Bishop rook takes e3. And the point is, if you take, then bishop d4, and then, bam, you lose your queen, something like that, something like that, there. And then, black is up five points of material. So, what does Albedo do? He, he does bishop d5. So, you can't block because there are two pieces and only one piece guarding that square. So, we have king h8 and knight to f7. And uh, here you have king g8 and queen f7. What if king g8? And then, I think Albero will like this draw because he's not in a winning position or even he would like after king h8 uh, uh, this uh, he'll like king h8 there and then uh, okay that is okay but uh, no i don't think that is good for him queen f5 is there so what does tal do because uh here after king g8 alboro wants the draw. So that's what Alvaro wants. But what is Talmud? Here he plays the absolute genius move. If you want, to, you can post the video and find it out. I said only King G8. But Tell said Queen of Sun. I didn't say no to Queen Tex of Sun. You didn't say no to coin takes a turn, and uh, did Tal say no to coin takes a turn? No, he said we can. We can. We should take a turn. Root to d3. Now the threat is there. If some like coin f2, just take and you're losing. And the spot lose. So we have queen to e4. What do you do? Now the King already has some big squares because the bishop is not in the place that he wants. He he doesn't want to be on f7. He has to be bang on the not on f2 but on g2. So that's the square he wants to be. So tall takes bishop takes d4 and uh, now we we'll try to make him mate in it and. Uh, he has four objects and uh, sorry five even uh, that if queen e3 or that we'll just take take and we are up knight knight and a pawn so after bishop g, uh, uh, takes d4 what if king h1 then it's rook e4 and then this is coming let's say you just go here then bishop e4 if king g1 then look to e1 that's a double check and you're made it so the best move is queen to g2 and then uh, we'll just give up that and again tall will be up a uh, knight and a pawn so king there doesn't work then what works uh, let's say that then oh, so we'll have check king and then the simple rook e3. Take, take. We have a knight and a bishop uh, for a rook. Knight and a bishop and a pawn for a rook. So that's winning from uh, top. So Albero calculates all of that and goes king g2. And what do you do? You bring another piece. That's what you need to learn from top. When you need to attack, you bring, the, uh, bring another piece. Rook to d1, rook to e3, and uh, here Albero blunders with queen to f1. And uh, here you can pause the video and find the winning move again for the second time. So, uh, let's first calculate queen to d2. What happens after queen to d2? Okay, uh, it's also like the So I'll give you guys a couple of seconds to find the winning idea and the winning move. 
So, uh, here, how plays the winning move? Bishop to e4 check. And here, the black king has. Uh, well, the options are king g1, king f2, there, and queen to f3. Let's check one by one. If king there, you could easily move the rook, and then uh, you are winning. Like, after that, king, king g2, and then, yeah, so that. Rook f5, and uh, king f3, then uh, rook h5, that's made. So, something like that. So, king g2, uh, Sorry. So King G1 doesn't work. What else do we have? King to F2. Now, as easy as that, knight to G4. And the king has only King to G1 and Rook to G3. A double check which makes the king. Oops, like that, that, that. So all those pieces. So here you could learn that when attacking, um, you should always have your pieces and a great book for uh, example is this book that I have Alexander Alakine, Master of Attack he sh uh, this is not uh, written by him it's written by Alexander uh, Raitsky and Maxim Chetverik uh, Chetverik and uh, this is a really great book uh, if you really like to attack that's good and if I'm not wrong Maxim Chetverik was one of those people who didn't shake hands with uh, Nigel Short a bit when the match started or something like that I remember so yeah if you want to improve your attacking skills this is the correct book so yeah so that's uh, the, that continuation and uh, the other continuation we thought about Queen F3 you can just pick up the Queen here anyway you want but here uh, better cut place and goes king to h3 and what do you do here oh i just press there again he pressed the winning move root of three and again alboro albero just uh kind of like a blunder yeah. queen to e2 and uh, after bishop to f5 he designed the game and that was some beautiful piece uh, by uh, mikhail tal here the reason is if that that's it. Yeah. Did you do? And then look at two. Takes. Takes. And it looks like you are down an exchange, but you take that. And then you open it. So, and uh, let's say king there. And then a uh, rook f2. And uh, how are you going to be stopping that? Is it there? Then it's going to be it. That's it. That's going to be it. Because you want to stop that. So that was an absolute brilliancy by Mikhail Tal. And, uh, and for the honor of his birthday, I drew some pictures. And um, this is not the best, but okay. Something I did, I took some pictures online and uh, I drew them. So I'm gonna do from worst to best. So not the worst, but okay, something kind of low. This is Alexander Alakind. So uh, this, uh, I don't know what I was trying to draw, but the body isn't that good, but the face is good. Oh, this is the best one, I think. Wait, this is Fabiano Haruana, one of my favorite players. And uh, let me just check, can you all see that? Yep, like that. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll see so that. And the hidden guy, and the person's birthday. Carl Tal, okay, that's not the best, but something that I tried, and that I got that inspiration from the photo that you see already in the screen. And so, yeah, Mikhail Tal. Okay, the eyes are not the best, <laughs> but okay, I try my best. I try my best, and I'm super happy with this one. Like, okay, it looks kind of funny and creepy, but uh, I think that's the one that came the best. Uh, so yeah. So I want to end the uh, end the video by saying happy birthday to Mikhail Tal. Yes, he passed away, and that's why I'm saying this. Uh, rest in peace. And uh, yeah, thank you for what you have done to this chest world. Bye.